Hello and welcome to another guitar channel. Another guitar channel is a channel for all those guitarists who cannot play the guitar but they love to turn the knobs. Today we're going to have a piece of history of, of the guitars because uh, I'm going to have a guitar which is called Carvin DC128. It's a typical instrument for the late 80s and early 90s, typical shredding instrument for metal for metal players for the brand called Carvin which is uh, established in I think 1948, 1947, straight, straight after the war, the war, the Second World War, the big war. Uh, the name is made of Carson and Gavin, so it's two sons of Mr. Kizil, and uh, he just connected those names and he made the name Carvin. I was always wondering what is it? Is it like from the calf? You know, to calf, but calf is with you. So, so that's that's what it is. I found out in a book. Uh, first, the company started to make like, you know, Stratocaster copies and some kind of strange designs. And then in 80s and in 19s, they developed quite a good amount of, you know, like sportish instruments. One of them was, let's say, smaller reverse ML by Dean, something like that. And the most the most famous one was was those DCs here, with twelve strings, with with six strings, you know, and with many many uh, features, which I will tell you about in a minute. Uh, the main uh, users of those guitars was, for example, Lita Ford, Alan Holdsworth, uh, of course, uh, Jason Jason uh, Becker, and actually, you know, lots of lots of shredders from from this era was using carving instruments. Uh, Carvin was as well making uh, Legacy, the amplifier for Stevie Vey. I think he's still using it. And at the moment, Carvin is not making guitars with the name Carvin. They came back to the name Kizil from the name of the of the founder of the, of the father of Carvin, uh, of of of. Oh. Carson and Gavin, 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 <laughs> uh, Gavin, Carvin. <laughs> English is hard language if you're not English uh, or American or Australian or New Zealandish. And actually, uh, so they came back to the name Kizil at the moment and they're making mostly handmade uh, custom orders. But in 90s they were making those guitars like a little bit more in the, in the series, but they were always well priced and were always very 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 good instruments and lots of people loved them at this moment of time of the guitar history the those guitars are a little bit forgotten in a way and actually you can find them quite cheap to be honest with you this one was on gumtree london for 400 pound for 400 pounds, this instrument is an absolute bargain. You won't buy anything closer to it for this price. And there was absolute bargain and this is a beautiful instrument. What we got here is Wilkinson USA. Hello, Trev. <laughs> uh, Wilkinson USA. Two M22 uh, pickups, which, uh, carving which were carving designed. Uh, they are different from the other pickups because they got 12 those those hex balls is it called yeah those small those small magnets here you know the, the screws for the magnets there's not look not like six of them there's like uh, 12 of them so if you bend there is no magnetic field you know like going out of the of the string and everything is like covered with the magnetic field blah 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 yeah but this is really good they are really good pickups and actually uh, People like them and people look for them not only for the carving guitars, they put them in, the, in, in their own guitars as well. Ebony, uh, ebony fingerboard, beautiful, a little bit dirty, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't clean it because I'm sending it to someone, uh, I'm just helping someone to get this instrument, so I didn't, I wasn't involved like um, in setting it up or cleaning it, I just got it got like that, so unfortunately it's got a little bit... The strings are a little bit old and it, it causes it a little bit muddy in the in the recording, but it doesn't matter. Still perfecto, la perfecto, uh, bueno. Uh, Mother of pearl saddle. That's something which is 
so unusual that I think this is the first time ever I've heard of something like, like that in my life. That someone can use Mother of Pearl for, for this part of the guitar here. Usually they are used, you know, Mother of Pearl is used for, for the inlays. Here you get this one. I don't know how much it's affecting the sound. Probably in some way it is, because people are tending to uh, say that actually this part of the instrument is like very very important. I believe them because I've changed in a couple of my I've changed it into bone and 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 the horn as well uh, in some of my guitars like the plastic one and the sound changed a little, little bit and it got a little bit better I, I could say so probably this part here got very very unique sound as well as you can see made in USA I think it's 1999 and that's what I've heard from the from the previous owner reverse headstock with the with the carving with the carving shape and what we got here is well is spurtle spurtle uh, uh, locking locking tuning packs beautiful thing the guitar is neck through body so we got maple neck going all the way here and then we got two wings uh, made of older and that's that's the construction like, like I said there's wikis in USA with a huge block made of steel as well here which is a beautiful beautiful uh, bridge people are looking for those bridge you know Wilkinson USA is quite it's quite rare at the moment as you can see as well this guitar is very very contoured you know like from the contoured body yeah but up uh, there is absolutely no straight or, or no I mean no um, no angles like yeah straight angle. is it a straight angle yeah so so this guitar got it's rounded everywhere you can imagine it looks like oh it almost looks like it's like uh, from the vacuum vacuum form you know you know what I mean so it's not made of wood it's not like shaped like this it's like you know pressed with the vacuum you, you know what I'm saying I, I hope you know what I'm saying but anyway it's absolutely comfortable to play everything is everything is so smooth and nice here but actually you 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 got no problems with with something you know like scratching your scratching your arm or you know like making you not being able to to reach something or play play whatever you want because everything here is so smooth and and nice of course shreddish neck for metal shredder for, for metal shirt so quite quite wide and quite flat uh, here uh, in this instrument uh, as you can see we got one huge toggle switch to switch between the humbuckers normal stuff volume and tone and those little switches here are making like single coil single coil so they split the coils in the in the pickup so you got eight different sounds coming out of it of the instrument you know like bridge bridge plus neck neck then you can have configuration with single coils so the same neck bridge and neck bridge and then you can add two more one one lighter and one like this with these configurations when you connect like different coils with with each other it goes a little bit close to those sounds of Stratocaster but not you know it's hard to get Stratocaster sounds from two humbuckers but it is a little bit close to it it is made to play metal it is made to shred of course I'm not shredding because I cannot shred but actually I can play a met I can play metal a little bit but actually uh, if you know how to play the guitar you can play many different kinds of music on this instrument without without any problems especially with those with those switch switch coil switching absolutely immaculate condition for 1999 there is no almost no scratches and almost no 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 cracks in the in the lacquer there's like one one visible thing here i've just noticed now maybe i did that <laughs> Uh, the guitar came with a hard original case guys 400 pounds bargain I wish it's mine but unfortunately it's not I need to send it to Poland I'm helping someone to get it from London to Poland because the guy who was selling it uh, 
didn't want to send it because he was afraid that actually it may get damaged and actually meant that he may be as well uh, cheated with the money and blah 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 so he said it's only collection I've collected it and a friend of mine in Poland is gonna have this guitar I wish it's mine what I can say as well, as you can see, it's quite dirty here. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't uh, clean it, the fretboard. But the previous owner said those, those frets are made of steel. I'm not sure about that. They don't sound like the steel frets. <coughs> because steel frets got this crispy, crispy trebles, which I don't like and I would, I would spot it. And the owner now said that actually the, the guy who, who owns it now the guy who bought it he said that actually he was looking for for the catalogs and for the information and actually they didn't make them uh, steal in this moment but anyway in this moment it's a good band by the way uh, but anyway uh, the condition of those threads for nine for what is it 30 years now 20 How, what is it 2009 2019, 20 years, yeah. Well, I got always problem with counting the time, like because you know if you if you were born in 70s, you still think that you're 28, and actually it's not like that because you're 43. But anyway, those those frets are almost like new. Beautiful instrument, beautiful, amazing instrument with a with like a history of the of the guitar. Uh, Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this this model. And actually, if you got carving by your by yourself, if you if you want to write something down about carving or maybe even Kiesel instruments, feel feel free to join us in the discussion below in the comments. Uh, I've recorded it with 6505 by PV with lead, with lead channel and with clean channel and then I press as well the crunch channel and the clean sounds which you're gonna hear and uh, the camera will be on the headstock that's recorded with Roland JC Jazz Horus 160 4, 4x10 a combo with two microphones in stereo so one microphone is, I think it's Cobalt by Electro Voice and the other one is I, uh, AK, AKG C3000 or something like that. Uh, thank you very much, thank you for watching uh, another guitar channel, bye bye bye.